everybody. We're watching the Outdoor Kitchen Show, and today we are on location at Creative Cajun Cooking once again on the beautiful Diversion Canal with Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking. And today we are cooking up a bunch of stuff, and we got some fishing footage too. So, Jimmy, you're starting off with kind of a brunchy thing here. What you got today? We're going to do brunchy if you can drink wine with the brunchy. Oh, let's do it. That's yeah. why I do that. But uh -huh. it, this is something I do sometimes when I just get up and start it myself. Uh -huh. I, I like swamp grits. Swamp grits. Say, what is swamp grits? I'm going to give you a concept that's going to make you throw rocks at the Waffle House. Well, I bet. And then we also have uh, Sean, my son, coming on the show, and he's going to do some really fancy stuff. we got some bacon-wrapped scallops. We have some trout on the dean, and also some redfish that we're going to top with some of your empty bacon. So all of that when we yep. come back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Stay tuned. best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. At Ascension Granite and Marble, we have over 1,000 slabs of natural stone from around the world. Our shop features both a stunning showroom and design center. Your kitchen or bath project is streamlined from beginning to end because we import, design, manufacture, and install everything we sell. Our machines are the latest in fabrication technology to create your custom look. Our quality is carved in stone. Ascension Granite and Marble, on airline across from the flea market in Prairieville and ascensiongranite.com. The Bugman knows termites can eat wood under your home and behind the walls, leading to expensive damage. Let our professionals do your dirty work and keep your home termite free. Call the Bugman at 923 Bugs. The Bugman. We get them when you can't. Try Gator Marys with pickled vodka. Drain a jar of Gator Pickles okra and save the juice. Pour vodka over them and refrigerate. Stir the juice and vodka into Bloody Mary mix. Top with magic swamp dust and Gator Pickles okra and bacon. For more, creativecajuncooking.com. Call the Bugman at 923 Bugs. The Bugman. We get them when you can't. All right, we're down here at the mouth of the Mississippi River, Venice, Louisiana. We have got two tag boats today. One's Roland Martin and one is Jimmy Houston. And we're targeting bull redfish. We got one on. We had a We've had three encounters with three different schools this morning. Um, the, the first school, we hooked a red, and then another one ate the cork. So we lost him. And then just now we had total chaos. We got into a school of them. We had everybody hooked up for a second there. And uh, Sean's broke the line. Jesse lost his. Jesse had another one trying to eat the cork. And I did finally hook one of them. When you get in them like that, it's craziness for a second or two. They just went everywhere. Come on up here, baby. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. That's one. That's one of them. There we go. That's what we're looking for. There was a whole school, a hundred of them. That's the third school that size with a 50 to 100 fish probably in it that we got into and uh, we haven't been here very long so i'm hopeful that we'll have steady action with those guys most of the morning i'm gonna come over here and let him go well big guy we'll see ya right If you see birds doing that, they'll tell you right where the bulls are. What y'all using under the for? I got uh, a sparkle beetle, any kind of chartreuse, soft plastic. What about a 30 pound liter, maybe a two, two feet under the cork. Or purple chartreuse, just something they can see. Once you get in, once you find the school like that, it doesn't, you'll see the reds. I mean, they were all up on top of the water, boiling the water. Well, they are, and what I was telling Roland is, if you see some, 
if you see some like we saw just then, uh, get on the upwind side of them to where once you shut down the motor, the wind will just start pushing you back towards them, you know, and then troll towards them. Yeah. But they that little half ounce jig head ought to work fine. Yeah, that'll work. That's a, uh, like a 3.8. That's perfect. Yeah. But they came up. I mean, there was a bunch of them. There was a hundred of them. The, uh, I guess I could dip some of those swim baits I got in dip and die, though. Yeah. As long as it's got a little chartreuse on it and they can see it, I say once you get in them, it really doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, that'll work. And uh, we're just going to kind of spread spread out, try to stay in between uh, four and eight feet of water between here and the mouth, which, yeah, just looking for the birds. Give them the bird. Maybe get where these pelicans are diving in one of these slicks and start drifting that way, casting that way. Look at them. Big school. Go to, to the right of me, Jesse. They're going that way. There you go. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I got one too. Birds over there in front of Roland. that one. Whoo! <laughs> that wore me out. <laughs> we're getting a lot of, yeah, we're getting a lot of chances at them. We've, we've caught two and lost six or seven. There are, uh, there's some gigantic Mondo schools of these bull reds down here. And uh, that time I think we had I don't know, two or three hooked up again. Just gotta get lucky and have the school get just right where everybody can throw in them. When it happens, it happens quick. Yep, I'm loose. Pretty, pretty this morning there. Real bronze, gold. That might be a redfish. It is a redfish. I got him on just a jig. Second cast right in there where you caught that trout. The uh, the shrimp ought to be good. I was just on a matrix shad on a 3 8 jig head. Got another one on. What you got? Another trout? Yeah, looks like another good trout. Yeah, get that one. This mine's gonna be a minute. Like a hammer trout. Look at that trout. I'm talking about. Keeps catching them on that cork. We'll get you on a cork, Sean. Another one? Oh, they're everywhere right here. You just throwing that, uh, what is that? Needlefish? Uh, make the most of it. Ribbon fish. You never know what you're going to catch down here. I got old biggin. I need my net man. Look at that big old redfish. Oh yeah, caught him on that matrix shad, no shrimp, just threw it in there, started cranking it. He smoked it. There he is. Ah. Yeah, a big bull. Yeah, hello. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let him go.
It comes rolling. <laughs> That's a nice red, a keeper red. Nice red. It's gill wrapped a little bit. He's a pretty one. Yep. So we're just fishing soft plastics under a cork now. Uh, we've tried several. I got him. We tried several different soft plastics, and uh, it doesn't seem to matter too much. As long as it's chartreuse, they'll hit it. Here comes Roland Martin. You got him, Sean? Yep. We'll probably keep that one. It might be a good one to do a recipe with. Half shell or something. Do something with him. It doesn't matter what bait you throw, as long as it's chartreuse. <laughs> nice. Make no, that's probably a redfish. You never know what you're going to catch down here, though. Probably catch them on the bottom with shrimp. Nice red. Keep that one. Shit. Thank you, Cap. Bowed up on that one. Nice white trout. Jesse's got one too. We'll be right back with trout and redfish recipes here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Craig St. Pierre, the proud new owner of DeLone Supermarket here in Santa Monica, Louisiana. We want to be your go-to grocer. We're up early cooking hot breakfasts and fresh donuts every morning. You'll love our daily lunch specials, too. We stock those hard-to-find Louisiana products. We even make our own sausage and boudin with that Louisiana flavor. At DeLone's, we want to be your hometown butcher shop. Choice meats, we cut them. Bulk jambalaya ingredients, we got it. Friendly faces, you know them. Come see us at DeLone Supermarket. From gas to groceries, we got you covered. The John Deere Z365R Z-Track mower is here, and it's built for taking it easy. Look, it says so right there. It even makes mulching a breeze. So you can cut the hassle out of yard work and focus on the reason lawns exist in the first place. Run with us, because the best job is the one that's easily done. Nothing runs like a deer. Make yard work easy. Pre-order your new John Deere at Ascension Equipment and get your mower before the grass grows. At Ascension Granite and Marble, we have over 1,000 slabs of natural stone from around the world. Our shop features both a stunning showroom and design center. Your kitchen or bath project is streamlined from beginning to end because we import, design, manufacture, and install everything we sell. Our machines are the latest in fabrication technology to create your custom look. Our quality is carved in stone. Ascension Granite and Marble on airline across from the flea market in Prairieville and ascensiongranite.com. I believe that we're a little different in that we're not a place that's going to run you through like an assembly line. Instead, we, we take time to hear your concerns. We address your concerns. Um, sometimes people come in, they know what they want. Other times they come in and 
we do an exam and we find out what's wrong. But there's always more than one way to fix a problem. So I, I, I enjoy going over with, with my patients their, their options. Call the Bug Man at 923 Bugs. The Bug Man. We get them when you can't. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and on today's show, we are here at Creative Cajun Cooking to cook up some of the fish that we caught in Venice with Captain Brent Roy of Venice Charters and also Jimmy Houston and Roland Martin. So that was a lot of fun, and we caught some pretty fish, and we're yeah. going to cook them today. Now, you've got some brunchy ideas to go with all the seafood that we have, um, and you're starting out with what? Yeah, we're going to do some swamp grits. Now, you, you keep saying this brunch thing. You know, Jimmy gets up about 4 o'clock in the morning. That brunch? Yeah. 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 So you get up early enough to make a second breakfast. So yeah. that's, that's what we're looking at, that's second right. breakfast. Second breakfast. That's right. That's right. So you're going to start off with your swamp grits. Right. All right. Um, so what do we need for that? Obviously, swamp dust. Yeah. Now, what so, kind of grits do you use? I like the yellow grits. Yellow grits. Yeah. Okay. The yellow grit is a, it is a whole lot better taste than far as I'm concerned. Okay. You know what I like to do? I like to step it up a notch with a little heat. Call it smoke and frying oil. It adds a little buttery, mesquite, smoky type flavor. So let's let's do a little dash or two in that, or three or four. All right. So about a teaspoon. Yeah, about a teaspoon full. And then we're going to do some bacon bits. Oh, you gonna put the bacon before you do the grits, huh? But it goes goes in there. Okay. Heck, it all cooks together. Okay. And then we take a little magic swamp dust, right? That's the prosh right here. And since we're doing four times our norm, what I normally do for breakfast, no, we're doing more than that. Huh? Okay. Two, no, two, three, four. Yeah, four times. And I like Velveeta cheese. You do love some Velveeta cheese. I love Velveeta cheese. Uh -huh. So. That's what I normally do for one serving. Now I'll do this again for the second serving. So Sean will eat me out of house at home. Sean will eat some cheese, yeah. Only commodity cheese. He's probably pretty close to commodity cheese. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> Maybe. I think that's why Jimmy likes it too. Kind of let that cheese melt. Mm -hmm. And he washed all the ball in the end, kind of. And then we're going to pour the grits in. Just kind of pour them lightly, scatter them through that, and stir as you're going so that way it don't clump up. Sometimes it'll clump up. Right? And this this will help avoid that clumping thing. You get each little morsel in that wet before it gets together. Oh, that went in nicely, didn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, it's the hand coordination. That's right. Just comes with years of cooking grits. Spirit, grit spirit. What's what's that line? No self-respecting southerner eats instant grits. Instant grits. That's right. So once the grits come to a boil, you lower the heat to a simmer and just stir every now and then until they get nice and thick. Okay, so right here we have some large sea scallops that I wrapped with one layer of bacon and I stick a toothpick in to make sure it holds. Nobody likes floppy, loose, bacon wrapped objects. And right now we're going to put some magic swamp dust. I also soften some butter, put a little bit of parsley in for a tiny bit of color and added the same season magic swamp dust. And we just go over where we add the butter, that way it sticks. And whenever it melts, it goes all over that bacon. You get that good flavor all over. And we're going to put these in the oven at around 340. And we're going to bake them until about the bacon is done or until you start smelling them. Let's go put these in the oven. Get the products at creativecajuncooking.com. And, of course, all our recipes are at theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. Very good. Creative Cajun cooking, Cajun barbecue wing sauce at the end with the bacon wrap scallops. I tell you, that's a winner every time. How come there's none in your bowl over there, Sean? Why, why it's empty? You made them all? Uh, 
somebody slipped over to the corner and got them. Right? So we caught some beautiful trout with Captain Brent Roy down in Venice, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy trout almadine with some almonds, swamp dust, and a little bit of brown butter. So I made the mistake of not letting the camera person know that I was putting parsley in the pan, so rough chop, a little bit under an ounce of parsley to put in with the butter to brown and give it some color and make sure that your dish is always picture presentable. So now we're going to add some shaved almonds into our butter, about half a cup, because I know my mama's going to eat them out the bowl. We're also going to add a little bit of creative Cajun cooking swamp dust just to give these almonds a little bit more flavor and to flavor the butter when we cook the fish. And now the butter is turning brown and now we're going to take it off the heat and put it to the side while we cook our fish. So now we're going to use some of Jimmy's Cajun garlic sauce made by Creative Cajun Cooking. And I like my fish on the hotter side, so I add a little bit extra. Trout's a really white and flaky fish, but it, it kind of lacks in a little bit of flavor. Now for our fish, I like a little bit of garlic with the butter. So now we're going to season the fish with a little bit of Magic Swamp Dust, just a light dust over all the fish. I also add a tiny bit of smoke and frying rub. And mix it all in. You always set it away from me so that way the butter doesn't splash in your face. So now we're going to add a little squeeze of lemon over the fish. Just add a little bit more flavor. Sometimes when you're cooking a fish, it's hard to be able to flip without breaking. So you can just baste it with the warm butter and it'll go right down to that fish and cook it straight through for you. Then you take a couple of almonds, about a spoonful, place right there on the top. A few more. For this recipe, go to theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. I just finished cleaning up these beautiful redfish and we're going to bake it and top it with some shrimp and crawfish at Touffe. So I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun jalapeno sauce just to go over it. Now I'm going to use my wet hand to just kind of rub it in, get it all in there, and then flip it over and repeat. A little bit of magic swamp dust. So now I'm going to put lemons on top of the fish to add a little bit of a citrus flavor to these fish. We're going to place it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes and check from there. Up this FTFA in a bowl. I'm going to put about two cups of water. You get this mixed up in, in here and then let it sit for a while and all of the, what they call the, the Holy Trinity down inside that, that, all that goodness has started soaking up the water. So it makes it cook off a whole lot nicer. So now that the fish is starting to finish up in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my etouffee. I added two cups of water and a half cup of cream and let, let it get to a simmer. Now I'm going to add the etouffee mix into the pot. Now this is a creative Cajun cooking etouffee mix. Now I'm going to slowly add it in and whisk. Now that it's all thoroughly incorporated, we're going to let it get to a simmer. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of smoke and frying rub to our peeled shrimp and crawfish. Now only add a little bit because that mix got plenty of spice in it. So right here we have about two ounces of butter that we're gonna put into the pan to saute. Now we added our peeled Louisiana shrimp and crawfish. We're just gonna let it cook. Then we're gonna put in the etouffee. Make sure and get all that juice in there. That adds more flavor. Now we're just gonna let this simmer for just a minute and be ready to eat. And you can get this etouffee mix at creativecajuncooking.com. So on the plate here we have Jimmy Babbin Swamp Grits topped with my lemon redfish that was baked. Now I'm about to top that with some Creative Cajun Cooking etouffee. You gotta make sure and get a good amount of shrimp and crawfish that we put in. Gotta watch for the dribble. Right on top of that fish. We'll be right back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Stay tuned. How can something so tiny do that much damage? Termites ate our wall. Well, then how do we kill him when we can't even see him? The bug man knows termites can eat wood under your home and behind the walls, leading to expensive damage. Let our professionals do your dirty work and keep your home termite free. They literally ate our wall. I feel so violated. Call the Bug Man at 923 Bugs. The Bug Man. We get them when you can't. Try Gator Marys with pickled vodka. Drain a jar of Gator Pickles okra and save the juice. Pour vodka over them and refrigerate. Stir the juice and vodka into Bloody Mary mix. Top with magic swamp dust and Gator Pickles okra and bacon. For more, creativecajuncooking.com. When the wild calls, the Kubota RTV X 1140 was built to answer. With a proven diesel engine, heavy duty suspension, and traction that grips like a mountain lion, it's everything you need off road. Engineered around a roomy four seat cab that converts into an extra long cargo bed, so you can prep for a trophy hunt and haul it home effortlessly. Get your next Kubota at Ascension Equipment. Save more today and mow tomorrow. Make a dirty Gator Pickles teeny by rimming a glass with magic swamp dust, adding vodka to Gator Pickles okra juice, and shaking it over ice. Pour it in a martini glass and garnish with Gator Pickles okra. For more, go to creativecajuncooking.com. Call the Bug Man at 923 Bugs. The Bug Man. We get them when you can't. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We've had a full day of cooking, and what would you say about it, Mr. Jimmy? I'd say it was pretty much a full day. Hey, you about wear me out. Well, that being said, thank you to Captain Brent Roy for letting us come along <laughs> on a red fishing trip down in Venice to where we can cook such beautiful products using your products, Mr. Yep. Jimmy. That's right. With lemon baked redfish, crawfish and shrimp etouffee, and your famous swamp grits, alongside of my bacon wrapped scallops, and the trout almondine that was just a little lamb yap. And with all these recipes we've cooked today, you can find them at creativecajuncooking.com, alongside all the products from the swamp dust to the etouffee mix. Thanks for watching the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll see you next time.